And I said I wanted crushed ice, not, what do you mean, why? Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! Listlers, brush heads, stop me if you heard this one before. Spider-Man just chased a bunch of thugs through the streets, putting citizens in danger and leaving millions in property damage in his wake. And this time, he had a little help from a certain silver-haired vigilante who turned the financial district into her own personal shooting gallery with a flying death machine! But that's not the worst of it, folks. Oh, no. What could be worse, you ask? The traffic! The gridlock! It was so bad that yours truly missed a very important dental appointment! Now I have to wait six months for the next opening! How many other people missed dental appointments because of this? Dozens? Hundreds? Thousands? Which, of course, leads us to the obvious conclusion! Spider-Man causes tooth decay! Of course, yes he does. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Marvel Spider-Man and the Silver Lining DLC. The story is coming a bit to a head, because, uh, yeah, we're working together with Silver Sable, though she double-crossed us already. Uh, we got rescued by Black Cat. We cleared out a few uh, Hammerhead hideouts, because Hammerhead is now also more machine than man. And, uh, yeah, the only thing I haven't done yet is actually check out the new suits, because every bit of DLC actually adds more suits. And while I'm just flipping around here, I'm just gonna check that out. So, three new suits were added by the DLC itself. So, one is the Aaron Eichmann armor. So, a uh, lovely bit of armor. It looks really, really cool. Then we have another damaged suit, which we can't yet show. And then another comic suit, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, this was the comic suit. And then, as a reward from Insomniac, we also got the Sam Raimi webbed Spider-Man suit from the uh, the three original Spider-Man movies by Sam Raimi. So, look at that. The fans finally got what they wanted. Because there has been a lot of uh, ask for this suit. Uh, I don't like it per se myself, so I'm just going to stick with the black suit because I just love that thing. And uh, it still has the articulated eyes, of course, so that means we're going to continue with the black suit. But, next mission! Because I'm not going to continue continually clear out those hideouts, let's just the dive down. To his hideout must be somewhere close by. Okay, there's another hideout right here, because it's story related. For some urban there we go. So it actually looks exactly the same as the older... Hideouts. Ugh, that's a new smell. Yuck. Okay, it does look before the fumes different. Over if I can get through this without getting wet, that'd be a win. There we go. Hello. This is so cool. Whoa! Look at this place. The amount of work it takes to make this city run is just crazy. I'll never take fresh water for granted again. There we go, just going from pipe to pipe. It does look pretty cool. Although I felt like this was kind of the developers stroking their own uh, dicks a bit. Where the hell do we need to go? Okay, there we go. Okay, Open up back right. See where this leads. And just go in here. True, the pipe. Like some loose bricks up ahead. Nice. We're just okay, destroying I'll... the underground here. And swoops. Oh, guys. wow. They've taken over an abandoned subway platform. Gotta take these guys out, then look around for Sable. Let's just do this. Why don't you this one out? Are there other snipers? There's one over there. Could I just string that guy up? I think he's safe, right? Yeah. There we go. Stick him to the wall. Then there's one up there. I think I could just... Oh, I could string him up. It's probably safe. Yeah. There we go. Bonk. There we go. Where's the next one? Could actually just string up this guy. I think he's safe. There we go. Hmm. What if all this Project Olympus stuff is getting into his head? And then use the impact web to stick this guy hey, and do this. I think I can just go from one to the next. Maybe, but there's also the problem of space. I mean, we're just running out of room. Man down! 
Okay. It's gonna go up. And then trip mine this guy. Well, the jig is up. Oh crap. Make this quick. There we go, he's on the wall. And blammo! Got a bit of impact web back, and I think, yeah, there's another one over there. Okay. He should not have been able to get a hit in there. Oh, he just died. I'm sorry for hitting you into that generator, dude. Okay, where's the... Oh, there we go. Ah, I just whack him down. Goodbye. Okay, Let's just use that to heal up. No. I bet if I follow the power cables, I'll find where they're holding Sable. Okay, that's a weird reasoning, but let's just follow the cable. That goes down, actually. Cables. Hope that's not a load bearing subway car. And pull that down. That's making a lot of noise, Spidey. Nice. Okay. Follow the yellow wire. Better not find any lions, tigers, or bears. Ah, tunnel's blocked. But I think I can still squeeze through. That's a drill, okay? Let's just crawl around like a spider. We haven't really done this before. Well, I mean, we did it on walls, but this is a bit different because it's a circular tunnel. Look at that. What the hell is that? Is that a body bag? Why are there body bags? Body bags? Well, this just took a turn. Indeed. There's a lot of them. What happened with this one? What do you mean, what happened? He died inside the thing, like the other guys. Board, board, Who was board. it? Don't remember his name. Sal's cousin, I think. Was it messy? Nah, he just came out all blue. I think he stopped breathing in there or something. Did you hook up the oxygen line like I said? And there we go. Do this quick and then find Sable. He came out all blue. That's a bit weird. What are they trying to get here? Well, that was not what I meant to do. Get back up there, Spidey. Get back up there. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. When there was only one set of footprints, that's when I webbed you up. Okay. This place looks like their main base of operations. Let's take a look around because there's a few maps lying around here. Ooh. All this stuff belongs to Sable. Yeah, most of it's overseas, though. What are you thinking, boss? I'm thinking about how she took over the whole city in a matter of days. You mean back during that Devil's Breath thing? Yeah, that was crazy. Not so crazy when you got the right equipment. Well, we got those digging things. Not good enough. If we want the best stuff, we're gonna need her. Yeah, okay. How are we gonna do that? Just keep taking her stuff. She'll come to us. And right he was, because Hammerhead is not a, a dumb person. He's actually pretty smart on that account. Let's take a look around. Can't really do anything with those maps. So we're seeing her jet and, of course, the, the drill boys. Uh, anything else here? Those just seem like combat around. interactables. This is his arm. That cop almost killed me. I thought you said I'd be indestructible. I said almost indestructible. After all, you are still human. Then make me less human. I'm... I'm not sure what you mean. I mean what I said. Now get to work. Okay, yeah, he removed pretty much everything aside from the head. Look at that. And then this fancy arm thing. Because he looks terrifying at the moment. Don't know about you guys, but I that's kind of a nightmare. What's XLT this? XLT-89. Subterranean Troop Deployment Vehicle. That's the real name? <laughs> I'm sticking with Dig Boy. Dig Boy! Of course, so that's... Okay, I can't really interact with anything here. Let's go back down. Is there another recording bit? Those are jetpacks. Can I equip Spidey with a jetpack? Project Olympus. 
these I told you, I just helped manufacture these things. I didn't design them. Guess we got the wrong guy then. On the bright side, now we got our first test subject. No! No! Don't! Don't turn it on! Please! Just give me a few minutes. I can figure it out. Now that's what I like to hear. What does it actually do, the capsule? Front retractable door, main platform expands, body proportions. Because if it really amplifies your body, which I don't think it does, then Hammerhead wouldn't have changed his entire body into a robot. So this is where these guys work, huh? The windows, smells like a sewer, psychotic boss, basically your typical office job. Sounds about right. Sable jetpacks. I'd pay good money to see Hammerhead's guys learning to fly in these things for the first time. Okay. Funny enough. So now they're showing us this again. Wow. If Hammerhead gets his hands on this thing, we're in serious trouble. Hmm. A boat. What's up with the boat? Oh, Save. that's no good. Like she's close. There. Let's pull that open and get Sable out of there. The way out is through. Okay, let me go up. We can actually. High voltage wires and sewer water. This is a what cool level, by the way. That was a, one a handy platform. Underground lair thing. It's that Hammerhead should have fewer thugs with guns and a lot more safety inspectors. Yeah, she does. I will never give you what you Oh, what has he done with the drill so far? Seriously, his his battery died? Kick. And that with a drilled shoulder apparently. Hello, Silver. Not looking so, uh, good. You came back for me. Of course we did. Why? Because I need you. No. I work alone. I used to say the same thing. I know what's happening in Simkaria. I know why this means so much to you. I think you know, but you do not know. At least let him help. What can I do to make you trust me? Look, I think I know how we can take down that monster, but I can't do it alone. Uh, Damn it! He let her loose! He let her loose. Yeah, Spidey let her. Oh, yep. More armor dudes. And they all look the same for some reason. Here's the plan. Okay. Remember, she's she she has a pretty big hole in her uh, shoulder. There we go. And boop, 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 boop. And then over there. I can handle this cloud. Yes, tag team fighting again. I love these fights. There we go. Hey Sable, no lethal force, okay? I don't think she cares. I love how it's the Sable music now. There we go. I'm gonna take out the Bazooka guy first, cause oh, I hate these guys. And then another guy, just at random, just take him out. But we're still uh, able to do this properly. Kind of nice to have you on my side for once. Oh, shut up. Ow. Get away on your fight banter, though. Let's get into the air and kick some ass. Oh, yeah, that hurt. And there we go. Instant takedown. Teach 
teach me how to use them. I wish I could. Oh. But it's a whole big intellectual property thing. Ow. A dig boy. A oh, boy. fucking hell. Did you see? There's a problem. Dig There's boy? a problem. Yeah. There's a problem. Way better than the real name, don't you think? Just take a few gadgets. Take out the bazooka guys first. Oh, wow. Okay, I got uppercut a bias. Jetpack guy. Uh, bubble. Oh, I can't. Ooh, there's a lot of dudes here. Hey, Sable, where'd you learn to fight? On the streets of Simcaria. Uh, uh. Yeah? I learned from watching movies. We should compare notes. Oh! Bring him back guard. Ow, 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 there's a lot of dudes. I'm hanging on by Dread here. Just healing in between everything else. No, no, no. Fucking hell. I tried to get that back with a friendly didn't work. I died. Hey Sable, no lethal force, okay? Um electric webs and ward damage. And then um, take out this guy. Oh god. There we go. There we go. Dodge the rocket. Ooh, I think it's clearing up a bit. That was difficult. I wish I could. But it's a whole big intellectual property thing. And that's actually a good joke, because of course they can't let Silver Sable use Spider-Man's weapons because of the intellectual property issues. There we go. Don't care. Oh, wow, that was a fight. Had to retry that a couple of times. When that big boy enters, the whole hell broke loose. Yeah, in the face. Ooh, yeah. Kick in the face. That was awesome. Ow. That was awesome. It was. Oh, come on. You said you could defeat Hammerhead. You, uh, know you left me hanging, right? <laughs> the thumb drive, not the high five. Her shoulder looks bad, by the way. There are medical records in here. Yeah, mostly about that metal plate in his head. Carbon steel. Super strong, pretty sensitive to... Heat. That's why the Sable assault rifle worked on it. Because it was a laser, a laser assault I rifle. <laughs> I uh, solemnly swear to uh, do whatever you tell me to. <laughs> Smooth. Oh yeah, that was a high five. Ow. <laughs> and a little what? smirk. Yeah. Indeed. Well, that was Guess cool. I'll do some Spidey work while I wait for Sable's call. Hey, what's that? Okay, we go level up. What's that? What does he mean, what's that? I mean, it was cool to finally see those two work together for once. What am I looking for? Oh, what the hell? It's like... What's with all the yellow stuff? Huh. Yeah. Is this some weird street artist thing? Um... I don't know, it's like safety... Tape? What's this? A police report. Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? Well, I guess we'll listen to so, it. You have some work related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. So they tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. Guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. Then what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. 
The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. There's a bunch of GPS coordinates here. I love oh, treasure This hunts. is interesting. But something tells me I'm not gonna find a chest full of gold at any of these places. Hmm. That sounds like a good new way to. Yeah, there's one on the left. Might as well check that out. Hey Peter. Just hey Miles. Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city, like constantly. Pretty overwhelming, isn't it? How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. Remember what May used to say? You help someone, you help everyone. Yeah, but I never really understood what she meant. Okay, you know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? The one who just got evicted? Yeah, after she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to this shelter. So we helped her, and now she wants to help others. Helping is like a force multiplier. Exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this, so stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! Oh. Okay. Apparently the next one is on the bottom of this bridge. This That's why familiar. I couldn't find it. I think it's the last known location of a Magia informant who disappeared a few months ago. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean this good. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. But tell me a little bit more about your job. Describe a typical day. Mm. Typical day, because it starts with waking up, checking my phone, see what the boss wants me to hit that day. Then I go grab breakfast. I've been trying to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon, and dinner, and I... Sorry, um, can you go back for a moment? What does do a hit mean exactly? It means I kill who my boss tells me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Get quite the resume. <laughs> this guy sounds like a Magia enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. Okay, and that we will, because that sounds really, really interesting. So the next one should be up top here. I don't see the yellow ribbons yet. Because that's usually where the recording is located as well. Okay, so there's tape over here, linking it to that other building. So let's smack ourselves into the wall and check out what is here. Okay, more tape, and there we go, recording on the wall. Let's Another listen to this. Report. Let's hear what the recorder has to say. So what do you think, Doc? Well, clinically, you're a sociopath. You have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really come see me today? <laughs> You're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it then. You do what I tell you, and I won't kill your family. Wow. You want to get right to it? Okay, then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're gonna do something for me. Well, that took a turn. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, maybe he's the one who killed all these people. Yeah, but who's the therapist? Because that indeed took a turn. I feel like you didn't really address that. But I am Silver ready. Sable. Meet me at my base. I've been meaning to ask. How exactly do you have a base in the city that I don't know about? Right. Good talk. See you soon, Sable. Well, Let's head right over me. there. And see what else we purpose. can do. You probably just got disconnected. Yeah, she probably. She could be waiting for me to call her back. Or she could be running out of minutes on her cell phone plan. I mean, she's probably doing international roaming. That stuff is expensive. Or maybe she just really needed to polish her pistols. Let's apply Occam's razor. The simplest and most obvious solution is... She hates me. Yeah, she just hung up on you. 
Does that really matter to you all that much? She's a freaking mercenary, so I don't feel like you have anything to, uh, to feel affection towards her. Of course, she's trying to do the right thing for her own people, but she's still kind of a bit of a bitch sometimes. So, there we go. It's a jet. There we go. Let's get to work. Oh, that was romantic. Where are we going? So where's this base you talked about? It's a submarine. Oh yeah. Or a cloaked Your boat. Those are so much cooler than mine. It's a cloaked boat. I love this invisible floating fortress thing. But now that all of New York City has seen it, Hammerhead will probably be here soon. I am counting on it. So let us work quickly. Okay. Seems like a calculated play to lure Hammerhead over here. I have acquired the Class 5 laser array. We need to calibrate it to prevent it from overheating. Lucky for us, I'm working on my masters in calibration. Let's do this. Okay, okay. what's first? Pull the housing array into place. On it. There we go. Whoa, nice laser. Housing laser locked. attached. Done and done. We are not done. Oh. We must reset the targeting field aerials. Sure thing. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Exit the hangar and navigate to the top of the nearby transmitters. Alrighty. So we should talk about the strategy with Hammerhead, don't you think? What is there to talk about? Find him. Then focus the laser on the plate in his head. The laser will heat the carbon steel to critical temperature, which will rearrange its molecular structure. And soften it so I can knock him unconscious. I get that part, but how do you know it won't, uh, melt his brain? When the wolf attacks the sheep, he risks getting shot by the shepherd. Okay, well, shepherd, just remember my no-killing rule, okay? Done. How's it look? Systems appear functional. Now we must test the targeting and power levels. Cool. Wait, this doesn't involve shooting me, does it? Not yet. But I do need you to launch those targets. Right. Okay, ready? Ready. Bombs away! Get it! Oh, wow, that was a blue laser. Oh! Just a few more. Cool with me, this is fun. Here comes another one. Nice shot! I think it works. Is this how modern military keeps shooting? Oh, oh, can we do one more? Please? You are a child. Yeah, well, we're all children on the inside. It's a cool laser, but okay, we still got we're still doing this. Whoa. Come back. We have one more thing to do. On my way. We must adjust the gyroscopic navigation stabilizer in order to compensate for the weight of the laser. Go to that terminal and wait for me to activate the system. This terminal? System ready. I'm going in. I'm going in. Okay, that should do it. Up, oh, right on time. Ooh. Maybe you could use his own laser. You two teaming up now? You. But it ain't gonna do no good. Oh god. Well, this turned into a boss battle. Can you fix it? I am trying. Um, okay. I'll just do the hammerhead walk for a bit. Okay, I can actually web him up a bit. I gotta be quicker. I just want to thank you for showing me what I've been doing wrong for years. If I want to rule this city, I gotta modernize, evolve. Now that I'm evolved, it's time for me to be the boss I always should have been. Just as soon as I kill you both! There we go. Okay, almost there. Sable, what's your status? Knocked out his knees. Oh! Burning your brain, buddy. Hit the plate. I respect that, but I'm still gonna kill you. Come on in, boy. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, I can actually do a finisher on him. Saw that. 
There we go. Finish it on him. Okay, and then punch him some more. There we go. Jamming the square button. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, there he goes. All right, no retries needed for this first phase. Still no respect. Nope. What's it gonna take? Uh, another laser to the face, I think. A guy who knows when to quit. Oh. That's all the shields. Is she bombing her own ship now? I missed. Keep them coming. I'll make sure the next one hits. Oh fuck! How can I? Can I disable that with? I throw the bomb. You throw them at him. Oh. Love your test disable. Too bad I gotta use it to take you out. Um, go. Oh. Yes, got it. Okay, you fight good, but not as good as me. Oh, so now his shield is down. Uh, there we go. No, get her. Oh, fucking hammerhead. There we go. There we go. Take out his knees and keep pressing the square button. I do. I will. Join my crew. I'll take what's behind door number three. Coming in. Get ready. Eat this. Come in your way, bug. Um, back on the boat. And finish it on his face. There we go. Taking him down. I think I'm just gonna use the my power to just boost my damage on this one. And kick him in the face. Oh wow, he just went full shields immediately. And then keep firing at him. We, we go. Get him down. Get him down. I think I can do that at one combo. There we go. Knees down. Laser face. Oh wow, he's struggling more than he was before. Oh god. Yeah. No, I can't wait much for longer. I'm losing my muscles. Get ready to jump. Um, is he just gonna crash an old jet into his face? Okay. Jesus! Well, we'll see how indestructible he is now. Ow! I don't think he cares. <laughs> Are you still breathing somehow? Because I feel like you're just a head on a robo body. Oh! Shutting down. It's fun. Isn't he dead? Hey, you have dinner plans? I know this great pizza place. <laughs> I must return to some caria. <laughs> right. Nice you try, Spidey. To fight. I do not like to fight. I do what I have to in order to help my people. I know. That's what heroes do. I am no hero. But you have taught me a few things. Oh yeah? Like what? Like how to disarm my enemies with bad jokes? Actually, they're good jokes, but I understand humor can be subjective. Thank you, Spider-Man. For everything. You're welcome, Silver. I don't do hugs. <laughs> I don't right. do hugs. She's Doctor Who. Uh, hey, can I get a lift back to the city? Uh, I'd swim, but it'd take forever to get the river smell out of my suit. Okay, I think she's leaving. Oh no, he's hanging on. Was that it, by the way? 
that was really short if that was it. And I feel like it is. Aw, Excelsior in memory of Stanley, who inspired us all to be greater. Because, yeah. That's a nice, uh, nice way of ending this, who inspired us all to be greater. Great, and that was it apparently. The end of the Silver Lining DLC, and with that, the entirety of Marvel's Spider-Man for now. Until, of course, the inevitable sequel will come out. But uh, let's skip the credits for once. And let's see what the end scene will be. Because I'm still hoping for a little bit of Miles Morales. Please. Please. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Okay. That looks good. He's there. Ready? I think the web shooters are a little tight. Get used to it. I think they need to be tight. Just try to keep up. Yep. You just gotta learn to fly, buddy. I love how he's wearing a, a red mask and not the Whoa! the black suit he's getting later. Okay. I did get a little bit of Miles Morales. Gotta be honest about that. And there we go. That's the end of that. Congratulations, great job, hero. Thank you. So that was just a bit of a an hour and a half. Finished, but his men are still out there. A spider's work is never done. So I'm gonna do a little episode after this to just end things off by doing the last two hideouts and, of course, the uh, recordings we still need to find, just to wrap up the story neatly in a bow. So uh, hope to see you guys next time when we do just that. So thanks again enormously for watching and uh, see you guys next time on Marvel Spider-Man Silver Lining. Goodbye.